How's it going folks, Voodoo Stash here. Uh, we're gonna be taking a look today at the hip hover. The hip hover is a, the hip hover is a great way to really work on the hip flexors, uh, getting full extension here of your leg, pulling that leg on up and lifting it up and over. So here's what we're gonna be doing. Your goal, number one, is to make yourself super tall. So I'll show you from the side to start. So I'm gonna start off in this seated position here. I don't want my back round. I'd like my spine to be nice and flat and straight. Ear, shoulder, and hip a straight line. Just watch out for that lower back. That lower back's a portion where we usually collapse. So we're really thinking about sitting up tall. If this is hard for you, what you can do is you can put your hands behind you and think about lengthening that spine up to the ceiling from here. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this roller behind me to help remind me to not let me sit back, to fall back. So I'm gonna sit up super tall, try not to touch that thing. And then from there, we're gonna work on lifting our leg up and over, over something. Either it's up and over the ground or up and over like a block or something. So I'm gonna have my block here. I'm gonna sit up super tall, focusing on my breath. I'm gonna engage into here, bring that leg up. I'm gonna reach it on over and bring it down. Raise it up, bring it right back over. My goal, this is to not lean back to do it. I don't want that roller to tip over. So again, I'm gonna think about sitting up super tall. You can do this up against the wall, it would also work well. And as that gets easy, you can start making that item a little bit higher. Raising up. Bring it down. Raising it up. You're gonna feel your quad working a ton there, your hip flexors working a ton. You can also play around with positions. You can actually add in an extra obstacle here. So I'll go two blocks. So uh, the first option I showed here was sitting with both legs straight out. You can also make this a little more stable by taking away the other hip. So if I hold this leg still here, I'm still thinking about that back being nice and tall behind me. Sitting tall here, nice and long spine. Raise up and over to here. Raise up, oh, that's a reach for me. Reach up, you're looking for control. We don't want any rush spots. You want to be smooth and controlled as you go. So you'll see it from there to there, pretty good. Coming here, oh, that's a lot of work. It's hard for me to control that thing coming down. So I'm gonna practice these to improve that hip flexion. Try it out, let me know how it goes.